Hello everyone, my name is Jozef and I am Mr. Musette. I am a full-time illustrator and I create art and illustration related videos here on YouTube. If you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. A while ago I started an illustration series based on the Chinese horoscope and the first illustration was created here on my channel with acrylics. If you want to check that video out I will insert the link in the right top corner of the video where is the i card. The rest of the illustrations from the series I decided to paint it with watercolors because the process takes me less time when I paint with watercolors than I paint with acrylics. And with acrylics I waste more paint than I do with watercolors. So in this video you can see how I create the line art for the illustration and after that I transfer the illustration off camera on a watercolor paper and I paint it with watercolors. In this video, as you could see in the title of the video, I am drawing and painting the rabbit from the Chinese horoscope. This is the fourth illustration from the series and if you want to check out the other illustrations which I created, you can check out one of my highlights on my Instagram. Before starting to draw this illustration and character, I I took in consideration some of the characteristics of the rabbit from the Chinese horoscope. The rabbits are predicted to be gentle, quiet, elegant and they are also quick, skillful, kind, patient and very responsible. As decorative elements, I drew the lucky flowers, which are the plantain lily and jasmine. The lucky colors are pink, red, purple and blue. I used almost all the colors, which are the lucky colors, but at the end I realized that I forgot to use the purple. But I don't mind because I really like how it turned out. At the end, I draw all these characters as animal and human hybrids with different kimonos. And all of these characters, I keep them white with great shades and I keep colorful the rest of the illustration. And this way, at the end, when I finish the series, you can tell that all of these character designs will be from the same series. As you saw at the beginning of the video, first I designed the character in one of my sketchbooks. First I made the sketch with a graphite pencil and when I had all the details I went in with the Stadler pigment liners and I made the final line art. After this stage, as I already 
said I scanned the illustration and I printed it out in the size I want to create the final illustration and using a light pad I transferred it to a watercolor paper. This watercolor paper is a White Nights 100% cotton watercolor paper and it's a 300 GSM weight. For the coloring, mostly I used the Kuretake Ganzai Tambi Japanese paints, which I really like how they work on 100% cotton paper. And also I love how vibrant the colors are and how transparent the paint is. I had a lot of fun creating this character after so long time and I am looking forward to create the next character from the series. Let me know what do you think about the final result and if you like it, don't forget to like the video and also be sure to be subscribed to the channel for future similar videos. Until next time, do not forget that everything around us is magical and everything is connected.